Let's take a look at a few different methods you can use to save SOLIDWORKS assemblies. Here we have a simple skateboard truck assembly with a few components, sub-assemblies, and toolbox components. If we save just the top level assembly by performing a regular save as function, you can see that the assembly is saved fine, but none of its reference components are saved along with it. This means if you were to share the assembly or try to open it on a new computer without those reference components, the assembly would fail to open. So if you want to share an assembly or ensure that all its reference components are saved in the same place, you'll want to ensure you check the Include All Reference Components option. Now when we go look at the file location, you can see that all the components along with the assembly are listed. But you'll note that the toolbox components aren't listed. So if I were to share this assembly with someone who didn't have a SOLIDWORKS toolbox library, those components wouldn't come through. So I'm going to use Pack and Go to make sure they're included with the bundle. Pack and Go can be accessed from File, Pack and Go. Pack and Go provides me with several options to include associated assembly materials, including drawings and toolbox components. With the option checked, you can see both the hex nut and the ball bearing are now included in the save file. I can even save straight to a zip file if I'd like. And when I go review the files, you can see that every component, including the hex nut and ball bearing from my toolbox have been included.